Hello guys, and today I'm gonna to be showing you something incredible, and this is the new interactive primitives tool that's in Blender 2.9 to alpha. And this allows us to simply just drag on a face of a primitive object, and we can extrude or just drag out primitive shapes and it will respect the faces or the normals of the faces I should say and it has all sorts of really um, interesting options here and it is super simple to use so those of you who are familiar with CAD programs or even some of the hard ops tools out there that, that have been around on the blender market for a while you're really gonna find this free um, feature interesting I'm going to show you how to use it how to enable it so let's get into the tutorial so if you don't already have blender 2.92 alpha what you can do is go to the blender.org page go to the download section and if you scroll down below the, the usual download section you're gonna see something down here called go experimental so just click on the download blender experimental and you're gonna see here we have a Windows 64-bit um, downloadable link so it's the blender 2.92 alpha version go ahead and download that now do keep in mind if you plan to open and edit any of your blend files with this new build of blender it is still in development so it could be unstable and potentially a little bit risky so just use it at your own risk anyway once you do have it go ahead open that up so you're going to extract the zip file open up the folder and just run blender 2.92 alpha I guess that's really good. We now have it open up. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna to go to our edit option here, go down to our preferences, and you should be by default in your interface section. If you're not, just click on the interface. And what we wanna do is come over here to the developer extras. Now by default, it's not enabled. I've already enabled mine. So if yours isn't, go ahead and enable it. You'll see this experimental box pop up here. So go ahead and click on experimental and go ahead and enable the add objects tool. So mine is already enabled, but if you click on it and you close this, you're now gonna see this new option here. And if you hover over it, you can see it says add cube. If you click and you hold in the button here, you can see some of these other options. We'll get to them in a second. So let's just leave it at the default cube. So with this tool enabled, let's put our default cube here to use. You can see if we now hover the cursor over it here, we can see we have this guy that's following the normals of the faces here on the cube. And if we click somewhere and we drag, we can see we now make this box and we can pull it up and then click and it's added in a primitive for us. And it's respecting the normals of the faces of the cube here. And now not only can we continue painting on this cube so I can click anywhere here, drag out along the normals and then let go and then just pull my mouse add in a new section but i can also take the new section that has been created click on that one and drag something out and pull out a new primitive that is incredible this allows you to very quickly um, build like really intricate or detailed scenes especially if you're going to be doing stuff like concept art or rapid prototyping or you just want to kind of bash something out like do a little bit of kit bashing this could be a very easy way to do it if you wish to do it with kind of like primitive shapes to start with so like i said you can see here not only do we have cube options if you click on here and you hold in you can come holding i'm just keeping the button um, in as I'm doing this you can come and you can see some of these different options so we can click on add cylinder and this will do the exact same thing so for example I want to come to this face click here drag out a circle and then bring it out I've just added in another primitive I can even click on one of these faces here and drag out a primitive like that it is absolutely incredible what you can do with this add primitives tool in fact I've seen similar things to this years ago in the blender market that can do this sort of thing. And it's kind of similar if you're kind of familiar to um, some of the hard ops add-ons out there have similar um, features to this. So this really just speeds up the workflow. And once again, you can just click on here, hold it in and change the settings here. You can also add in a cone. So maybe I want to add a cone on the end here. Just incredible, a very powerful tool to just quickly add primitives into your scene, speeding up um, your workflow and just making your time a little bit w better managed and just also potentially saving yourself money if you're doing something like this for a job. So I hope you guys have found this tutorial 
informative you now kind of understand this um, interactive primitives primitives tool is very simple to use it's not a lot to it anybody can figure this out and um, I hope you guys are able to just really put this to good use make some cool stuff I'll see you guys next time for another tutorial and if you want to like learn stuff like characters and animation go check out some of the other tutorials on my channel I cover a lot of really interesting subjects whereas today is just a little bit more of a boring one but I think still a very important tutorial nevertheless